Hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is... What is this? This is going to be relax and pain relief. Or stress and pain relief podcast. That's the one. Stress and pain relief. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a technique... So this will be a short video, it will sure be a short podcast episode, and there won't be any music in the background or anything like that, or well, there will be the television changing its screen for some reason, but uh, to change it would involve moving and picking up the, would it involve moving in the chair, and I fell over last time I did that, I fell out of the chair, <laughs> so I'm not, I don't want to do that again. So there's quite a few lights on me in this video, but it doesn't really matter because the idea behind the video, behind the recording, will hopefully be useful. Okay. So this is something that I've done before, a long, long time ago. One of the first ways of... Well, so I've done lots of different versions, but this is going to be changing the color of that part of you and it's similar to something I've done recently um, but we're going to do it a bit different so I want you to close your eyes imagine a part of you that is stressed or you've got pain chronic pain if you don't know the cause of your pain then seek medical advice and find out the cause of your pain before ever using um alternative therapies such as hypnosis to reduce the pain you need to find the cause first once you know the cause or once you realize that you don't need that pain because you know why it's there or maybe it's there and you don't need it at all anyway you can then reduce it let it go wave bye-bye because it's of no use to you and if it's, no, if it's not useful, then what's the point? You know, if you break your arm, having pain is useful. It lets you know that your arm is broken. You know, if you, if you bash your arm, and it, here's my experience of it, the difference between bruising your arm and it being broken is the initial pain that you have stays doesn't subside initially it does subside you know eventually but you know it stays at the same kind of level as the shock of when you first hurt it you bruise your arm it then starts to subside the pain reduces fairly quickly it might still be very uncomfortable very painful but it reduces a pain a break or fracture it stays the same. So the pain lets you know kind of where you are on a serious level when it comes to things like bones. But when it comes to things like internal organs, because you can't see it, you know, you need to find out the cause anyway. I'm not an expert on bones breaking, but I've had a few breaks over the years. So, yeah. So this technique is for chronic pain or stress. With your eyes closed, imagine that part of your body, the where the pain is or where the stress is. And try to ignore the banging on the doors in the garden. Hopefully, it will subside, like the pain and the stress. And imagine just having that feeling moving out of your body into the air, floating in the air, in whatever shape it is don't have to make a shape up it's just whatever shape it is 
and what other color whatever color it is naturally just allow it to be whatever it is it may have a sound it may have a smell it may have a taste you know whatever is naturally happening in this moment just allow it to be there floating in front of you move it a little way away don't want it too close And all we do is you just change the color to, I'm not gonna give you a color to change it to, you just choose one, choose a different color. And each time I say choose a different color, choose a different one to what you've already had. And we'll do this five times. So right now what you just change the color. Notice how it feels when you change that color. And notice how it looks. It's there, it's floating. Is it turning? Is it just moving around or is it just static? Almost frozen there. Is it rising off the ground? Is it moving towards the ground? Is it moving towards the left or to the right? Is it moving further away? Just noticing how you feel as you observe this image, this, this object. And now change the color again. Just noticing how you feel now. how it feels having changed that color again. Again, noticing is if it does have a sound, does the sound changed? Now change the color again to a different color, of course. Noticing how you feel. And we're going to change the color two more times. And then we're going to do some other stuff with it. So I want to change the color one more time before the last one. So change the color again. And now I want you to pick a color. It could be a mixture of colors, it could be a rainbow, it could be uh, whatever you want it to be. Something that you feel represents comfort, calmness, positivity. So a color that you'd like it to be. I know you've already chosen four different colors and you may have chosen colors that you wanted it to be. But choose one. Now, if, if you want, if it's not, you know, if it's a color that you've already chosen previous and that's the one that felt the nicest, then you can choose that. Of course, it's, it's up to you. Now change that color again to that last color, the one that you've chosen that feels comfortable and calm. Noticing how you feel in this moment. How do you feel? Now what we're going to do now is as you look at the image, the object, I'd like you to change the shape like we did to change the color we're going to change the shape five times. So whatever shape it is now, you could turn it into a cube, uh, you know, uh, a ball, uh, something spiky, something smooth and flat. 
you know, it could be the shape of a piece of string, whatever. Just be creative. So change the shape of that object now, keeping it the same color as you've now chosen. So change the shape now. Notice how if, if you feel different. Now change it again for the second time. Keeping that same color of comfort. Noticing how it feels, having changed it twice. Getting ready to change it again to a different shape altogether. And now for the fourth time, we're gonna change it to another shape. If you do that now. Noticing how you feel. And like before, you're gonna choose a shape that you want it to be. It could be one of the other shapes that you've already chosen, or it can be a completely different shape, something that for you represents comfort, calmness, positivity, relaxation. I change the shape now keeping the same color that you've already chosen. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move the object a little bit closer because now it's more comfortable, it's how you want it to be. But you'll notice there's this little paddling pool. You know the kind of kind of thing you put in a garden for kids? And it's full, but not full of water. It's full of healing liquid. Healing liquid. That relaxes, that heals, that completely allows you to feel so good. Replenished re-energized, full of positivity. I'd like you just to allow this object to just gently drop very gently into that little paddling pool of healing energy. Notice how it feels for you as it enters that healing energy and becomes completely covered. But what's gonna happen now is you look at that healing energy, little paddling pool that's full of that healing energy. At the moment, you can't see the object anymore. Maybe because of the healing energy, depending on what color it is. But you're gonna start seeing it because what's gonna happen now is that object is gonna suck in all of that healing energy from that little paddling pool, completely absorbing all of it, not leaving one drop. You watch that happen and it sucks it all in really quickly. And now you can allow that object to fly up in the air again, nice and gently, very light. Feels, you can kind of get a sense, it's very light. And then just allow it to move back inside your body into exactly the same place as it was before. Now. I let it just click into place. And notice how different it feels. 
Notice how different you feel. And let me know how you got on. And that is the end of this recording. There will be more to come. So take care. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.